Oh, viewers, you have no idea how much I've just been celebrating off of camera. You have no idea. It has been the worst couple of months, but we have just secured a massive result against Aston Villa, and I'm wishing I'd recorded it. Abby took time out of running a bath just to come over and watch the last ten minutes. We won it in the last five minutes. Oh, God, I needed that. I'll explain in a second. Yes! Thank you, Villa. Thank you, Villa. Absolute scenes views because that was our first win in one, two, three, four, five, six in six games. And I only got one draw in that, which is a free three against Southampton. I lost five games in a row. I didn't just lose. Look at the Liverpool and Arsenal results away. I lost seven nil and eight nil. I couldn't I, I wanted to come back for those games and I wanted obviously to show you them. We got beaten by Newcastle four nil at home. I just wanted to be in a good run. It has been an awful start to the season. An absolutely atrocious start. Where well, we got off to a good one, beating Spurs and Birmingham. And you're thinking, oh, this is pretty good. The 2-2 draw with Chelsea. Oh, literally fell apart. Absolutely fell apart. We were in the bottom three until that game there against Villa. And I wanted to come back because Villa was seventh. And there's a relegation like fights between us, West Ham and Sheffield United. Which is why I've come back for those games. It has just been dire. I could not explain to you what happened. Just absolutely catastrophically bad. But we managed to rise or raise ourselves out of the bottom three. Although that's because we were the Tuesday kickoff. There are midweek fixtures. We could be finding ourselves back in the bottom three very shortly. Very shortly. Honestly, I spent all that money on Maximiano. He concedes so many goals. I bring Woodman in for one game. And before I know it, bang. Clean sheet, win. Scary. Really scary. Just how far off it we were with that defence. But I've made a few changes, which we'll go over we'll go over soon. Okay, so the good news for me is that all the teams in around me have lost this week uh, are lost in midweek. Okay, so this is a really big opportunity today to beat West Ham. Beat Sheffield United, get us back up towards the top half, which is where we should be. And with the team we've got, it's amazing that we are. I have no idea what's happened. Maybe I've chopped and changed too much. Maybe there's too much influence with some of the players, and there's a lot of unhappy people at the moment because they're not getting game time. I don't really know what the problem is. I think maybe the problem is that I've got so many youngsters in it in the team that there's not enough experience to carry us through tough moments. And maybe that's what we're struggling with because obviously we have, I think we've got the youngest side on average in the Premier League and that's nothing usual for a, or unusual for an FM save. But maybe just because of the lack of experience of the club being at this level, not really sure 100% what the problem is. But losing 7-0 and 8-0 to anybody is never, is never good. It's never good. Yes, I know, Abby, I can see you saying it's never good. Shut up. So, it's us against West Ham today. They're in 15th. We're in 17th. Just where we always want to be. Um, and I'm not going to change from the team that literally obviously just got us our first win in, in seven games. So, I would say this is what we've been lining up with. But the the honest truth is that it, it's all been a bit here, there and everywhere. It's weird that his form isn't brilliant. But Stefan Williams has got me nine goals this season. Um... He's been pretty good, in all fairness, and he got the first goal in that game. But do I really change it around? I don't know. Maybe. Probably. I'm going to keep it as it is. So, Woodman is in goal. He takes his place back off Maximiano, who's... Yep. Yeah. Uh, Ike Norrie's on the left. Bella Kotchap and Della Cruz are now the two central defenders. Because, I'll tell you, Van Hudson and even Gebby, um, just having an absolute shocker. Torman is in on the right. He's been pretty good at right back, to be fair. Not been too bad. Samari's come back into the middle. A little bit of experience there with Hector Vera, who wants to play a bit more. He's been pretty decent in that position. 
Danilo and everyone else has let me down. Something chronic there. Bellingham is out on the left. Diaz is in the centre. And then we've got Harvey Elliott in on the right-hand side. With, obviously, Eddie and Ketty leading the line. Felt a bit weird and a bit unfair, maybe, that I ditched Eddie straight away for Williams when Williams came in. But Williams is the better player, and his goal record speaks for itself. But I'm going to tell the boys, get on and carry straight on for what you did out there. Basically, we need to win this game. If we don't win this game, that Villa win was for absolutely nothing. One thing I'd normally say... Or one thing I would say is that during it is that I've had results, obviously, where we've not had that. That's a brilliant ball by Harvey. And Eddie Nketiah and finishes it. Brilliant by Eddie Nketiah. Brilliant by Harvey. Oh, oh, I, I messed around with the team too much. It's amazing what a win does for you. I'm sorry, obviously, I went so many games without, <laughs> without recording. But, you know, when you get into a rut and you just don't feel like recording until you've at least got a win under your belt. That's how I felt. Um, I'm not sure actually how many of you will know that because obviously you've not, you know, I don't know how many of you record. If you do record your own stuff, let me know down in the comment section. It would be nice to see if there's anyone else sort of out there that suffers from this rubbish as well. It's been a good game by us so far, to be fair. We've had five shots on five shots on goal, five shots on target. West Ham have had two and not one. I'm a little bit worried because we've only got the one goal, but one thing I would say is that we're beginning to sort of play a bit more like the team that I know that we can. We've kept possession a lot better. We've been a lot more smoother in transitions. It's been a good a good start to the game and a good half of football. Do same again boys. Go out there. If you can get a second goal, genius. That would be absolutely brilliant. Oh good interception by Harvey Elliott who's having a great game. Looks to find Nketi in round the back. Not quite. But we've picked up the ball again. Torment against uh their guy Ryan Kent hasn't had a chance yet today. Diaz tees it in. Hector Vera Yes a little bit of a some weird text going on there but it's two nil Mwah! This will make it six games of that successful West Ham. They were in my situation. Don't worry, boys. It gets easier. Um, Harvey Elliott, it doesn't. Harvey Elliott, brilliant ball there into Diaz. Diaz, I thought, what's he doing here? But it's a great ball, and Vera just gets there first. Oh, Vera! She's buried it. Vallejo hits it wide to Ware. Is that Timothy Ware? That's a good signing if it is. He's a good player. Ware, straight into the Ike Norrie's arse. Well done, lad. Ike Nori, ball down the line, looking for Nketi. All he needed to do was a simple one there, up to Bellingham, and we were in. For Christ's sake. Ball long, good flick on there. Kent into Ian Acho. That's a decent signing as well. Granite Jacket, that's a, that's a signing. I wouldn't say it was decent. Where? Ryan Kent, it's 2-1. I'm not allowed nice things. I'm not allowed to not feel pressured at every single opportunity. Not brilliant defending, really, there. Someone's got to be clearing that ball. It's a good... Oh, here we go. Is it because I went 2-0 up? Is that the problem here? My Vera tackles their Vera. Samara on the ball. Hits it long. Eddie and Ketty, a great touch. Use that pace, son. Play it out wide. Elliot, he's been our best player all day. Harvey Elliott goes in on goal. Absolutely shanks it miles wide. Shocking finish. Right. Jude Bellingham hasn't had the best game. He's going to come off. On comes Stefan Williams. And he's going to go up front. Eddie and Ketty is going to go out to the left-hand side. Use that pace. Exploit there, Williams, here at right back. Is that Nico? Brandon. It's an interesting ball from uh, Eddie. He's literally hit that so hard. It, ne it nearly went into space. Vera. Ryan Kent is giving me the bit of the run around here. Timothy Ware flicks it on. Berger is in. Oh, my God. I don't know. I don't know if he saved that or if it's just an... Or I think he saved it. If he has saved it, it's a decent save from Woodman. We are... We're hanging on. I'm going off positive. We're going balanced. It just I need I need to calm down. Brandon Williams whips the ball in. Great clearance. Oh, my God. It's here, there, and everywhere. Great tackle. Now, you've got, you got time here, Samari. Pick pick your pass. That, that'll do. Harvey, play it. Harvey, did you not see the... There was a clear pass on there. Torman into Samara, back to Elliot, to Diaz. Wide, wide, wide. Torman on the ball, whips it in. Eddie! Oh! Oh, Eddie! It was nearly genius. I've got to get the ball to Williams. He tends to finish when he gets the chance. Poor ball out by Pickford. We've seen that. Williams is in! He's missed. I don't believe it. I just said about how good he is at finishing, and he does that. But he whips the ball in. Oh, for Christ's sake, it should be three. I don't need this. We've got two minutes plus added on time. One minute plus added on time. Four minutes of added on time. Where is that car, you son of a bitch? Suchek into where? With two minutes of added on time to go. There it is! There it is! It wouldn't be us if we didn't throw a 2-0 lead. For... Ike Nori 
is an absolute shambles as a defender. Don't you don't you dare. I've literally got 30 seconds. Diaz, I thought he was going to get sent off. Don't do this. Where chips it wide. How have we not won that ball? Rogerio into Inacho. Is it because I made changes? Is that the problem here? Piss off. It's 2-2. Two -two. Thrown away another. Another 2-0 lead. Another 2-0 lead. Why can we not just control it? And Freddie Woodman's out for two to four weeks. He's been injury plagued all season. I'm in trouble. I'm in serious trouble. Months remaining calm as pressure grows. I'm really not. You have got that dead wrong, I tell you. I am panicking like you would not believe. Sacked in the morning. I'm gonna get sacked in the morning. Sacked in the morning. I'm getting sacked in the morning. What did you just say? I I really think it'll last until morning. You're an ass. Well, I already know my birthday's gone wrong because United have beaten Liverpool four one on my birthday. Hashtag unrealistic. Okay, well it might be a daft decision, but Jude Bellingham is being dropped. Um the 6.46 in terms of form will tell you all you need to know about that. That's the only change. Uh, apart from uh, the fact, obviously, that Maximiano has to come and go. Eddie Nketi moves out to the left. Stefan Williams is going up front. I need a win. I need someone that can finish. It's cool, calm, under pressure. Williams is my top scorer. It just makes sense to play him. But we're playing the best player in the world. That's Lee Mousset. So let's, let's enjoy this together, shall we? As long as we don't go 2-0 up, we'll be absolutely fine. They're playing well around Brannigan here. Oh, there you go. There's the ball from Samaris giving it away. You idiot. Bella Kotchap's been brilliant in these opening few minutes. And that's a dangerous tackle on Elliot there. I'm surprised the ref didn't blow for a foul. Vera on the ball. Good ball by Vera into Harvey. He's the only other player that really is playing anywhere near his kind of caliber at the moment. As he manages to ride a couple of tackles there. Samari, come on, mate. Down the... If we can see from this, I'm gonna I'm gonna be fuming. Brannigan, in Mr. Sitter, but Samari for he's meant to be my captain. He's meant to be one of my most influential, experienced players. He's given the ball away in stupid situations twice for absolutely no reason whatsoever. As Bogle gets away down the right, great, great, great marshalling there. As we just let Lise Mousset walk in on goal. Thank God that Maximiano. Has remembered how to save. How have they got four people forward? How the hell does that work? If we don't take advantage of that, there's something seriously wrong. Tormund into Elliot. Please finish this half. It's a great tackle. Back to Tormund. Go on. Good ball in. Apparently not. Apparently it's the end of the highlight. Good. Really good. Love this from Bogle. Just wait for the pen. I mean, I cannot believe. <laughs> oh, yeah, there it is. There it is. There it is. There's the finish from Jamie Shackleton. Sacked in the morning. I'm getting sacked in the morning. Sacked in the morning. I'm getting sacked in the morning. It is falling apart. It is, for lack of a better phrase, nonsense. We're better in every single department. And yet, can't... I love you, Stefan Williams. If there's one thing I've done... Well, Williams, Willems. If I've done one thing right, it was signing him. He might not look brilliant in terms of his average rating, but the man gets goals. Tormund does great here. First time I actually get a fullback in who whips in a good delivery. And Willems, his 17 finishing comes in handy there. Did you hear that? 17 finishing, right? Not that attributes matter on this effing game. Some would say it's against the run of play. And to those people, I'd say, shut up. Well, it's been interesting. Um, I'm going to say I'm happy because we're level. I'm going to take off. I shouldn't do it, but I'm going to. I'm going to take off Bubakaro Samare because he's been absolutely abysmal. In every aspect, he is my captain, and he has been an absolute lump of poo. He's been so bad. So I brought on Francho, 
whose first thing is to go off and get himself a yellow, which is just great. Oh, here we go. On the break, Eddie. Eddie, keep going. Playing Williams. Williams is in. Williams hits it. He hits it miles wide. But it's an effort. It's a highlight. We like those. Harvey Elliott's playing at a 6.4. Why? 70 minutes. There's a highlight. Elliott whips it in. Bella! Oh, how have you missed? It's literally a yard out. It's a yard out, you turd. How have you missed that? Oh, I don't believe this. It's it's not a bad result, but it's not a great one. It could be awful if we concede here. And we've lost the ball because my midfield isn't good enough. Tormund on the ball. Tormund, don't hit it. Tormund, back to Ivan Usek. Ivan Usek squares it. Vera. Oh, he's in the pill piss off! One minute of injury time. Almada whips in the corner. Not even close, you turd. Almada. It's brilliant. Oh! Yes! Yes! Yes, Tiago! I don't believe it. We've won it in the last minute. Tiago Almada has been terrible for the best part of around about a year. Genius finish. Thank God. Second half, we were so much better. They barely had any chances. We're up to 13th. We're nearly at the halfway point, points-wise, to get to safety again. I was aiming for more this year. I don't care if we win every game by one goal for the rest of the season. I just... Oh, thank God. Here's a birthday present. We do get a win. We do get a win. The midfield needs sorting. That's the problem. We can't control the midfield. That needs sorting. But other than that... Other than that, it's been a good start to what is a very, very big December. Two wins and a draw. And it should really be three wins out of three. Coming up, though, we've got Brighton, Wolves and Watford. All games, which ideally... I need to get points from because after that we're playing Everton, City, Tottenham and Chelsea. So there's going to be f probably four defeats out of four there. Then Birmingham, Burnley, Leicester. The finish of the season is going to be crucial. What we'll do is we'll come back for the games then probably against City and Spurs midway through January. I'm hoping by then I might have made signings or one signing. I just need a quality, quality midfielder. That's the only thing I feel like we're missing right now. Is someone that is just genuinely going to dictate the game dictate play and help me keep the ball because that's the problem at the moment did bringing in denier was decent but he's not of the same quality that's required in this midfield up front i think we're fine at the back not very good but we can get better it's the midfield that's the problem especially later on in games i have no way of just getting someone to get their foot on the ball control it and dictate it from there that's what i need that's what we gonna be looking at Hopefully in January, but we've got some massive, massive games in between now and then. Hopefully we can get a fair amount of points out of them, but we will see. Thank you so much for watching today's episode of my FM Save. Sorry, like I said, it's been a while uh, in terms of game time since I, re uh, since I recorded, but I'm trying to get through the season quickly while we're building a squad here that's going to get us into Europe. I thought it might be this season. No chance. Not when you're losing 7-0 and 8 nil away from home. Um, if you guys have got any idea how I can tighten up, please do let me know, but... I don't care. Four points from six today. Seven from nine overall this month. Much more like it. Thanks for watching. See you for tomorrow's episode. Till then. Like, share, subscribe. Stay cool. Thank you. Jesus Christ. <laughs>